a 24-year-old with a 15-year-old that's jailbait. And jail is exactly where he's going. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. he's coming in. Whether near a big city or a rural area like Harris County, Georgia, lines of potential predators find their way to our undercover houses. Meet 24-year-old Brian Lindsay, here because he was invited by a girl who said online she was 15. I got through my clothes and wash, okay? I made you some tea, though. Using the screen name B. Lindsay 01, he describes how he wants to give the girl oral sex. He says, I can't control my horny level. Then he says, I want to blank your brains out. I can't help it. Now he's driven two and a half hours to meet her. Have some tea if you want some. It's sweet tea. Is that okay? Yeah, I already drank some on the way. Did you find the place okay? Yes, sir. Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? <sighs> what are you up to tonight? Just driving around. Just driving around? Yes, sir. And what why is he just driving drive around? He says he's been away from Georgia for two years while serving in the United States Air Force, and he wanted to learn his way around again. How is that lesson going for you tonight so far? Not too good. Then he comes up with a completely different excuse. What made you drive into this driveway and walk into this house? I'm just asking for directions like... Oh, so you're lost? Yes, sir. But he drops that story as soon as I read to him from his chat log. I take it you're a virgin? No, sir. Not you. I'm reading from the conversation between you and Natasha. You say to her, I take it you're a virgin. She says no, but I'm no ho. You talk about oral sex in great detail. How you like to do it. Honestly, my intention was not to do anything like that because, hey, I know, it's jailbait. Jailbait. 24-year-old with a 15-year-old, that's jailbait. However, I do believe you can be friends with a 15-year-old and maybe go out and go bowling or something like that. But that's not what you talk about here. You don't talk about going out bowling or just hanging out or mentoring this 15-year-old girl. You talk about having sex with her in great detail. I will get on there and I will speak inappropriate. Sometimes people will just talk about that. If you were here right now and wanted to, I would not deny you. I want to blank your brains out. Yeah, there, I can't help it. There is... I mean, is there any other meaning for that? There's a difference, though, between wanting to and actually doing it. It sounds like you sure wanted to, based upon this. I can't control my horny level. You see, during the conversation, you just masturbated twice, and it hasn't helped. And I was lying. You were lying then, or you're lying now? I was lying then. I mean, granted, yes, it's my fault, but did I actually fall into a trap? Well, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. And we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the internet and then try to meet them. Yes, sir. Now, everything you've just said has been recorded with our hidden cameras from the moment you pulled into the driveway. All I explained was I did not come here with the intention of having sex. I came here with the intention of hanging out, doing, you know, talking a little bit, maybe go bowling, maybe shoot some pool or something. Well, Brian, what should happen to you? Well, honestly, uh, with this, I think I should just be able, just be allowed to just go home. Like nothing ever happened? No, sir. Go home. Just take it as a lesson learned. Not to do it again. No such luck. Like all the other men who show up at this house, he gets arrested. While this former military man talked even after he knew he was being recorded,